Hey guys, Don recently did an interview and he mentioned some holes in the timeline and it got me thinking, what do we know? The morning of 6.15, Candace takes Summer and Grandma to the hospital. She messages Hunter. Hunter invites her to the house. We don't know the exact hour she dropped the grandmother off or how important that even might be. Um, but the things that we do know, we'll go over, okay? Allie states Candace arrived between 10 and 10.30. The TikTok video was 12.21. Then, between 2 p.m. and 2.30 p.m., Candace drops off Hunter. I didn't include all the stuff in the middle of that because we know Hunter was dropped off at that time, allegedly. Then you have 3.09 when Candace said this photo was taken, and they were about five minutes up the road according to her. Five minutes later would be 3.15, 3.16. You might even get to 3.20 because she's saying five minutes. We don't know exactly. Then she did stuff around the house. Dawn said she did a load of laundry and, you know, she had to put those away and the groceries away and they got a bite to eat. I think it was like cereal or something. Uh, so let's assume that's an hour in total. Then you're at about 4.15 p.m. 4.15, if they transplanted those five little plants, Summer was doing most of the work, according to Candace. So let's estimate an hour total because, you know, chit-chatting, planting, moving things back around, maybe an hour. Candace went back to fix the mother's knee brace. She stated two to ten minutes. She doesn't know. Now we're at 5.25, and we know that Summer disappeared right at this time. Candace said she did look around a bit before she called Dawn. So if Candace was searching the bottom half of the house, she said she was under blankets, looking here, looking there. Let's say she looked in the bathroom. She looked upstairs. She asked the boys. She walked outside maybe 20 minutes. So that's 525 to 545. And now she's about to call Dawn. And of course, they don't have those phone records. So we don't know exactly what time she called Dawn, which kind of screws everything up, right? The 911 call that Dawn made was at 6.32 p.m. That's when dispatch says that Dawn called. Now, we don't know who called first. I was assuming she did. But if we have the dispatch for one call and they called the same county, the same area, why don't we have the dispatch for both calls? We're missing about 40 to 45 minutes, right? And Chris... I know Chris was trying to trick them with the 40 minute thing because he was really bringing the stepsister on, but that 40 minutes just didn't come out of Chris's head. And before I even started doing this, I didn't know that I was going to end up with 40 to 45 minutes of unaccounted time. So I thought that that was pretty odd. Maybe Chris is thinking about these 40 minutes because even stretching this out, I can't get to... 6.30. I can't get there. Um, am I missing anything? I don't feel like I'm missing any times that we all know of. So if I am missing anything, leave it in the comments below.